Good evening, welcome to the clinic. Tonight it's head, ears, eyes, nose and throat, but maybe not in that specific order. So, first, I'm going to take some measurements of the head. First one is height, please. each side for any disparities and corner to corner Let's incorporate some more technical measuring devices. These will just be resting against the temple slightly, side of the head. Head width 165. and temple widths please just above your eye line one five two approximately Just a forehead circumference there, please. Twenty three centimeters. So let me record the results, please. At height, diagonally. Head width, temple width, and the forehead. I'm going to move on to your ears now. I'm going to do a visual inspection first. Just look straight ahead, please. Let me have a little feel of your ears now, please. Any pain or tenderness? Feel okay. Let's look inside your ears next. Okay, it's certainly not going to hurt. Normal levels there, and 
to the eardrum. Past there, good. Pearly white. So it's very inflammation. Around the other ear. Lateral section, clear. No evidence of any tympanous sclerosis. And normal colour. Very good. Okay, just a brief hearing test. Say yes when you hear the sound. So, here's visually sound, no lumps or bumps, pain or tenderness, otoscopy, so normal levels of wax, hearing appeared normal, okay, we're going to go to the throat next. So the first thing I would like you to do is take a sip of water please there. Okay, hold it in the mouth. Do not swallow until I tell you to. Okay, and swallow please. Just checking the thyroid gland there. Okay, let me have a feel of the various glands and now it's under the chin. Vercos now to that. behind the ears, the back of the head, okay and relax, all normal thank you, thyroid felt normal, now abnormal bulging, now goiter, Visually sound. Now it's hand glands. Absolutely fine. Now swelling. Okay, let's get these gloves off now. Got to move on to eyes. Swinging, 
just looking for a four in. If now squint is detected. And we must repeat at near. So just look towards the beautiful bouquet, please. And now change to the beautiful butterfly. And then just across. Maybe a little bit of exophoria near. We should always check convergence as the next step. So follow the beautiful bouquet towards the nose, please. Okay, any double vision there. Butterfly with the head still. Please report any double vision of the butterfly. And down. And up. Down. And up. Look off into the distance. I have to do the neurological check of the pupils. Okay, I'm going to check your saccades now. Look towards this finger. And now to this one. And to this one. And this one. And this one. So saccades are a form of eye movement. Looking for any undershoot or alve shoots there. Full and smooth pupils, correct and consensual, right and left. Signs of a relative afferent relative defect. Coatest distance or the foric. Near. Estimate four to six diopters of exophoria. Recovery. So okay, it's normal. Slight undershoot, which is fine. So plus three there. Okay, and now I'm going to show you a selection of images. I'd like you to say what you think you see. It could be a number, or it could be a picture could be something ambiguous. Just tell me what you think you say. Excellent. Anything on there? Okay. Now, if I just skip 
towards the back a little bit. Final one. This is a number to identify. Not too bad. So as always, we always have to look into your eyes by coming closer with the light, just ensuring the media and ocular features are within normal limits. Just look over my shoulder. Okay, looking for the red glove from the retina. I can see that the cornea and the crystalline lens are clear. Have to observe your optic nerve head. New vessel growth or drusen or general swelling, possibly a little bit of peripapillary atrophy nasally and a slight choroidal crescent on the temporal margin. Okay, be a little bit brighter. Periphery, look up to the ceiling. And look to your right hand side. And the left. And look down. to advise that you see your optometrist for further investigation into glaucoma. Right optic nerve head, suspicious copying and neural retinal rim features. Okay, let's have a look at the left. Lit lashes, iris, lens cornea, possibly a mitten dwarf dot. Nicely, crystalline lens, optic nerve now. So there is much less copying in the left compared to the right. Okay, now just look to your right. into the light for the macular assessment and fovea. Okay, 
Excellent work. Right, so you had a object copying disparity. Right, 0.8. Our left was 0.4. So my advice is see your optometrist on my recommendation for investigation into glaucoma. Your optometrist can check your intraocular pressures, your Van Herica angles, have another look at the optic nerves and check your visual field. Okay, finally, onto your nose. So I'd like you to breathe in through the nose. And out, in. And out. Now clear one nostril. Breathe in through the nose. And out. And the other one, in. And out. In through the nose. Any problems with your breathing? Okay, fresh speculum. Right, tilt the head back slightly. Let me have a look. Just through the nasal passage by there. Looking for any inflammation or polyps. Okay, just a quick smell test. Of a lovely aroma within this box. And you just have a little smell. Tell me what you're picking up there. Ginger, thank you. Let's take those final nuts. Normal breathing through the nose, viewing clear. Smell test full. Just the eyes then, slight issue. That is everything. Thank you for coming in today.